Ray, go away. Oh man, pretty aggressive. This part sucks. The worst grief field ever. Kind of a, a swamp. It's great. Our first rays of sun. More doubts than I've had in a long time. It is freezing. I really don't want to descend that spree slope. Tent is obviously drenched. My walk of shame. So we'll see. So that's where the real fun climbing starts. <laughs> breakfast before we go to Mollus Pass. Going back again. Going back again, that's where we started our bike trip. It's supposed to be projected to rain this morning. And like Colorado weather, you can't trust it. And it's gorgeous out. And so we're hoping we get the same luck tomorrow because it's also projected to rain. Let me go climb Vestal Peak. So hard to so we'll see. see. All right, our Mollus Lake. Those mountains in the background, you can see uh, Vestal and Arrow, you see the big ramps right there. Okay, starting at Mollus Trail. Gonna hike in for about like 9.7 miles to Vestal Basin. Did you hear that? It's the train. <laughs> I don't see it. We're going up here, over there. Here we are down at the bottom, the Animas River. Here are the train tracks. And our first signs of thunder. So we're going way up there. Descended three and a half, now you hike back up six, up to the basin. It's definitely a little rainy. Um, <laughs> thunder but it's 1 p.m. so that goes well for tomorrow and we get to walk right along the Durango Silverton narrow gauge railroad so pretty scenic got the grenadiers in the background all right the rain caught up to us we gotta put the raincoats on Morty wet we'll see how it goes. All right, the rain's finally uh, settled down a little bit. Person's making her way through here. There she is. Finally, we have a bit of a reprieve from the thunderstorms. It's been uh, pretty aggressive. Uh, yeah, put all our rain gear on and now it's finally clearing up, so head out. We get a dry camp. Right, there it is. Tomorrow's objective. It's not raining anymore. It's a little dark, but we have about two and a half miles left to go. Feels like we're in Washington. How vegetated and humid it is. This part sucks. So the way up to the basin is super muddy because it rained a ton, super thick and dense vegetation, and then just a ton of deadfall. So it's, uh, it's sunny though. Pretty hellish two miles. I guess one and a half, honestly. It took us forever, it was so steep. Not really a trail, but we are half mile from the basin where we will camp. Here we are. It's kind of a a swamp, which isn't uh, my fave to sleep in, but you know we're here, so I think we go up that in the morning and then climb that early. Hopefully, climb that on Monday. So that's Vestal Peak. What we go up tomorrow. Somehow we managed to find something in the trees for when it rains and the start of the climb is just over there. So this is home sweet home. It's 4 a.m. We're just waiting 
inside the tent. You can see all the raindrops on this fly, meaning it's raining right now. We woke up at three. We've been in and out of the tent looking at the clouds, gauging the rain. It looks like it's probably gonna sprinkle and or rain all morning. So we have about an hour's window where we can actually do festival today. Otherwise, we'll wake up tomorrow and do it tomorrow morning. The potential for us to be sitting in this tent today for 12 hours. So that's Sweet. exciting. In case you're wondering how, what it got last night, that's the sleeping pad. All of our stuff is over here. Our tent is obviously drenched, but so is the floor of the tent. So, it's great. So everything's actually drying pretty well even though there's literally no sun at all. The fog's rolling in again. There's that still up there. I think we're gonna make lunch. We got some coffee rolling. And the rope is drying because that got wet. We're crossing our fingers. Uh, here we are soaking up the tiny, tiny second of sun that we're getting. Uh, our first rays of sun. It feels so good, we're so cold. It's so wet. Have lunch and pray that somehow miraculously we get an afternoon of sun. It cleared up for the first time today. It's like 2.30 p.m. It's been raining since 3 a.m. And out of nowhere we get blue skies, which is uh, a little frustrating. The rock's pretty wet and it's kind of late. So if it happens to dry, it might just run up that one an easier route today and then do that tomorrow but we'll see all right the weather window has begun we are going to try to go up arrow just do the classic kind of third class because we don't know how much time we have uh some clouds but it's pretty sunny and uh we're off you see camp down there jordan moving his way up there's vestal there's arrow Making pretty good time. Uh, there's definitely some clouds over there, but we're just gonna go to the base, assess, and see what we can do. Stop, I just keep going. Me too. All right, there's the Wim Ridge. We are, I don't know, what do you say, a third of the way up, mm -hmm. arrow. And, uh, I'm nervous about if it rains or not. Obviously, those dark clouds aren't great, but. It's a big, slick ramp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to come down these sli slabs if it rains, and those will be wet and slippery, but. Ah, oh, it's so tempting. It wouldn't be too hard to get there. Ray. Oh, oh man. Look at this. Quite a beaut. That's good stuff up here. A lot of doubts of the day, and I mean a lot. More doubts than I've had in a long time. But we'll see. I got a hard turnaround at 7 p.m. <sighs> see if we can make it. All right. Oh, Summit of Arrow Peak. 6.30 p.m. There's Vestal Peak. Wow. There goes the needles. These are some incredible mountains. Holy shit. Really dark clouds blowing in fast. So I want to try to get down as fast as possible with Kristen here. Let's get stuff up here. Descend as quick as we can. Get all the way back down to that meadow where camp is. Coming up the summit. Vestal Peak behind her. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking sick. Wow. Hey, good job. That's oh, sweet. We're at the top of Arrow. despite all these storm clouds. <sighs> Pretty sweet after a day of full rain. All right, we're back down to the class two. 
it's starting to rain. I'm shocked we made it, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we're technically not out of the woods yet, but we're not. As exposed on a wet, loose class four, it's just wet, loose class two. Okay, we pulled it off. In fact, it's actually quite beautiful weather right now. You can see some sun on Vestal. Okay, it's 3 a.m. There's nothing but stars in the sky. So, we're off to chase Vestal. Okay, we've been hiking for about an hour now. Gained a thousand feet. You can not see Vestal, but you can see the two headlamps on it. There's two other people who bivvied up here last night. Just gonna make our way up all this class two stuff before the sun rises and we can get to the ledges. Sun is just about coming up. Perfect timing. Perfect That's what we timing. We're aiming for. So you can see there's the lake. Classy there's ledge. all the class two that we came up. And now Jordan is standing on the grassy ledge. Right before we uh, start sidling up this part, it definitely looks more intimidating yeah. in the dark. Um, it doesn't look, you know. It's like it's inception folding <laughs> overhead. It looks like it's overhanging yeah. somehow. Uh, there's a couple people over there. You can see them on Wham Ridge. And uh, we got the couple people who we met down at camp starting up at the base. You've got Arrowhead right here. Arrow. Why can't I say that right? Arrow, which we were on the top of yesterday. I'm gonna take a quick water break, get some food, put our rock shoes on, and uh, hopefully we find this nice center route and it's not too uh, slabby and spooky. All right. We've started simuling up. The sun is starting to rise. And uh, we uh, are hoping it starts to get warm here soon. So we're nearing the end of our slab, which is neither Jordan nor my favorite type of climbing. Uh, pretty minimal gear placement, at least on the line we took. Uh, but you can see it gets really blocky up there. So that's where the real fun climbing starts. We are not going to get sun today. Uh, just, uh, some ominous clouds so we'll see uh, how quick we can do this thing but it's a calf burner up these slabs This is what we came up. Got some guys on the Wham Ridge. Jordan right there. For a pitch. And uh, we're gonna pitch it out and do the blocky stuff now. Uncoiled the rope using the full 70 meter. Jordan's up there. It's not bad. It's like pretty class three, four right here, but it's mossy and it's wet. So we're just going to pitch it out. Hopefully it's not too wet right through the center where we're going. And uh, man, it is freezing. Like just no chance of sun, which is a bummer. Uh, Cause it's pretty cold up here. Oh man. See Jordan. Now we're working our way up on the blockiness again. So muddy, so mossy. After, you know, yesterday it rained all day. The sun is out. 
So, I'm happy. It's warmed up the fingers. It's amazing how much warmer it is when the sun comes out. Holy crap, that last pitch I was freezing. And now, like, this is great. We are about 70 meters from the fall summit. There's Jordan. Like this. Hanging out. So that's the fall summit. Then we go down and we go up to the top. <clears throat> We've uh, met up with the Wham Ridge folks and you know, the clouds have been like blowing in and blowing over all day. Definitely think we'll make it to the top before a storm and hopefully down overall pretty loose climb fall summit so we go down and then up to the real summit but that's all she wrote well, at the top of the technical climbing it's good stuff up here and just got that and that's the top and then make our long way back down <laughs> Nice. I really don't want to descend that spree slope. I really It does not to... sound fun right now. Yeah. Oh, that looks steep. I just want to find a line to get up to the top of the I know. <laughs> What's the change from the saddle? Seriously. That looks very steep. That looks so steep. Mm -hmm. Scree. Is the sun register? Yeah. yeah. Nice. nice. The worst part about this one is the descent, as is a lot of climbs, I'm learning. And it's just like really, 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 really loose. No easy way off ever. Uh, it's class two, but so loose. There's just like this sheer cliff right here. And then it brings you to the saddle between Arrow and Vestal. And more really 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 loose scree till you get down into the gully which is still not easy on the knees and then finally we're back in the high basin to go to the low basin to hike 10 miles out to get your car to then drive six hours today and hopefully i can make it in time back to work Yeah. All right, and this is the final descent off Vestal. Everybody says it's like the worst scree field ever. That's Kristen. It's just really steep, loose dirt. It's pretty awful. Nothing to do except basically ski it down. 
Oh, it's like an avalanche of rocks just coming off. Thankfully nobody's below us. That was a horrible descent. Just as described. So now we gotta make it through all this talus. Drop a thousand feet to our camp. Back up. Yikes. There she is. Vestal Peak in all her glory. Lamb Ridge. Lamb Ridge. Center and of shift. course, center shift, which we did, which goes directly up the center of that route. We're tired. We're sunbaked. Yeah. We still got to go down this sweet little baby. You can see the grass there. That's where our tents are. And then just a swing. Sweet 10 miles back to the car. Over to, is that it over there? No, it's even further left. It's even further left, guys, where we have to go. Oof. So, oh, man. no use wasting any time. That's a wrap on Vestal Peak. <laughs> and Arrow. Yeah, look at that. And back into Alpine climbing in the San Juans. All right, I'm tired. Uh, we just did the two miles down from the basin. I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty far. All right, we're at the beaver pond. Mm -hmm. There's Arrow. There's Vestal. Went up Arrow. Went up Vestal today. Came down that basin. It took forever. Seven more miles to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jared and I made it down the three and a half miles. Now we're on our three and a half miles up. Not too bad. But you can see Vestal, a tiny peak in the distance. On top of that this morning, now back here. That's all I got. <laughs> it's 9.39, we're back. Yeah. Six hours to stay awake so we can make it back to work on time tomorrow. Oh man, ah! it's not gonna be fun. Happy 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the last part of the vlog. It's 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Um, Jordan and I have been up for 26 hours. We drove straight through the night, stopped for an hour to sleep in Rifle, and now I'm packing up my car so I can shower and get to work. My walk of shame. Hope I make it to work on time.